96% of people don't get enough vitamin E, at least in America. And not getting enough vitamin E increases risk of cancer, Alzheimer's disease, cardiovascular disease, age-related declines in immune function, and um, eye badness like retinopathy, cataracts, and age-related macular degeneration. Vitamin E is a crazy important fat-soluble antioxidant, which is so important because it means that it works in different areas than the huge collection of water-soluble antioxidants, like vitamin C and all the different polyphenols. And it's not hard to get from diet. A serving of pumpkin seeds will get you 71% of the daily value. A serving of sunflower seeds will get you 69% of the daily value. Nice. A serving of pecans or almonds will get you 50% of the daily value. And a serving of nuts and seeds is only one ounce. That's about what would fit in the palm of your hand. And it's only two tablespoons for nut and seed butters. Other good sources include vegetable oil, olive oil, avocados, olives, and seafood. The recommended dietary intake of vitamin E is only 15 milligrams. There are some intervention clinical trials where they give people high dose vitamin E, like 400 milligrams, and show enormous reductions in cardiovascular disease related outcomes, like 49% reduced risk of cardiovascular mortality over 10 years. That's a huge effect. But note that there are some contraindications for high dose vitamin E. There's a lot of drug interactions and maybe some risks for smokers. A check in the pro column for getting vitamin E from food and talking to your doctor before taking any supplements. And if you'd like to know all the best food sources of vitamin E and all of the amazing ways that vitamin E benefits our health, dude, I've got an article for that. Go to Nutrivore.com, tap on nutrients, tap on vitamin E. Biological roles and health effects are at the top of the article. Daily values and symptoms and problems of deficiency versus toxicity are in the middle and all the best food sources are at the bottom. And if you tap on any of those foods, you can go and learn all of the nutrients those foods contain.